the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 320, Acts chapter 13 to chapter 15, verse 35. The Jerusalem Council, the full-scale ministry of evangelism was launched with Paul and Barnabas as leaders as also raised by the Jerusalem Council. First point, the Jerusalem Church and Antioch Church helped one another. Due to threats from the Sanhedrin assembly, Paul fled to his hometown and stayed there for some time. Whilst he was there, he was called again after the wonderful news broke out that people in Antioch accepted the gospel of Jesus. A new church had been born. Antioch was a coastal city located near the Mediterranean Sea, and the Antioch church was made up of people of various backgrounds. As the Jerusalem church had previously sent Peter and John to Samaria, they sent Paul and Barnabas to Antioch. Barnabas stopped by to pick up Paul on his way to Antioch, and together they spent a year strengthening Antioch church. The Antioch church provided aid to the Jerusalem church when they suffered immensely from famine. It had grown into a center for world mission within a year of being founded. As such, Paul and Barabbas spent two years on their first missionary journey, and they helped the churches in Asia Minor grow in the name of Jesus Christ. During their journey, the issue of circumcision of foreigners broke out, and so Paul and Barnabas went to Jerusalem for a while and then returned again to Antioch. The apostles all gathered for the Jerusalem Council in order to come to the best conclusion. They concluded that the gospel of Jesus Christ was for all nations and was to be spread to the ends of the earth and that circumcision should not get in the way. The Jerusalem church and Antioch church grew into one body in Jesus Christ. Second point, among the numerous missionary teams, Luke recorded Paul's case as a sample in the book of Acts. There are many missionary groups during this time, but Luke recorded Acts around his team, which was Paul's team. It is important to remember that many teams went on missionary journeys. First was Peter's journey to Samaria. He crossed the river as well as other regions and foreign lands. The second was Philip's missionary journey. Philip also went to Samaria, then to Gaza, then to Azotus and the other cities and Caesarea. Third was Barnabas' missionary journey. He was sent by the Jerusalem church to Antioch and then went on his missionary journey with Paul and afterwards with Mark. Fourth was Paul's missionary journey. Paul went on three separate missionary journeys and also went to Jerusalem and then planned to go to the ends of the earth through Rome. Fifth was St. John's missionary journey. We can predict that many others went on missionary journeys. We needed to remember that Luke recorded Paul's case as a sample to Theophilus. Third point, Paul and Barnabas were sent out by the Antioch church on their first missionary journey, which lasted approximately two years. Paul and Barnabas spent two years during their first missionary journey, and this was between AD 46 and AD 48. The region was mostly Asia Minor. Mark, Barnabas's nephew, also joined the team and together they took a boat to Seleucia and then to Cyprus, which was the hometown of Barnabas. 
Paul and Barnabas arrived in Cyprus and then went to a place called Salamis, where they found a synagogue to preach the gospel. At first, they used the synagogues to teach the Jews, but the foreigners started to come, and so the gospel reached many more people. However, towards the west of Cyprus, in a place called Paphos, they also came across a Jewish sorcerer and false prophet named Bar Jesus. Later, Paul's team went towards Perga, but it was here that Mark left them to return to Jerusalem. And so Paul and Barabbas headed towards Pisidia, Antioch. Paul went to the synagogue and was given a chance to preach the gospel there. Paul therefore started with the incident of Exodus and then came to the story of Jesus. And many people listened with interest. However, the Jews who were there were jealous of Paul and Barabbas and so forced them to leave. Paul and Barnabas experienced what Jesus had told his disciples that the people would not listen. They had to leave Pisidia and Antioch, and next they headed towards Iconium. Afterwards, they headed towards Lystra, and here Paul healed a man who could not walk from birth. Because of this, the people there perceived Barnabas as Jews and Paul as Hermes and started to make offerings to them. Barnabas and Paul tore their robes and testified that the miracle was performed in the name of God. The Jews who had interrupted Paul and Barnabas in Pisidia and Antioch and Iconium followed them to Lystra and stoned Paul. They thought that Paul had died and so left him there. After almost being stoned to death in Lystra, Paul regained his strength and headed towards Derby. It is likely that whilst being stoned, Paul thought of Stephen's matter. Paul and Barabbas then returned to all the places they visited and asked the people to pray for them. Next, they went to Pamphylia and spread the gospel there and then headed towards Atalia. They then sent a report to Antioch Church to stress that God had opened the doors regarding the issues of boldness. After doing so, Paul and Barnabas went to Jerusalem in order to solve the issue of circumcision of the foreigners, and they went to meet the elders. Indeed, Paul and Barnabas covered a lot of areas in Asia Minor during their first missionary journey. First point, the Antioch Church decided to receive a trial from the Jerusalem Council concerning the issue of circumcision for foreigners. After Paul and Barnabas ended their first missionary journey, the issue of circumcision of foreigners broke out in Antioch Church. The Antioch Church members, however, did not want to listen to Paul and Barnabas' teaching about only Jesus. This was because they believed the circumcision to be a holy tradition. This issue grew serious, and so Paul and Barnabas decided to go to Jerusalem church to get to the bottom of it. The Antioch church sent Paul and Barnabas as well as a few others to Jerusalem, including Titus. Paul and Barnabas, on their way to Jerusalem, visited Phoenicia as well as Samaria to spread the gospel. Fifth point, the Jerusalem council came to the conclusion that salvation was only granted through Jesus' cross. Now, the historical event of the Jerusalem Council opened. The chair of this council was Jesus' brother James, and in this meeting, Paul and Barabbas reported their first missionary journey. After they reported all their actions and opened the discussion about the circumcision, those who converted from being Pharisees to Christians had a lot to say. They emphasized that foreigners who came to believe in Jesus must also keep Moses' laws and become circumcised. Then Peter lapped up with his speech. The chair of the council, James, made the following conclusions. 
The first was that the church was not to pick on the non-circumcised. The second was for church members to abstain from idol sacrificed food, from the meat of strangled animals, and from sexual immorality. Ultimately, the conclusion made from the first meeting of the Jerusalem Council was that salvation was only in the cross of Jesus Christ. This was firstly so that the entire church could become one. Secondly, the 2,000-year tradition of circumcision came to a stop. Thirdly, the gospel was to be spread to all nations. Fourthly, the early church declared that the only important thing was the cross of Jesus Christ. They emphasized that it was wrong to dishonor the meaning of Jesus' cross. In addition, the Jerusalem Council finally agreed unanimously to elevate Paul to the status of Barnabas. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference, and when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible, and he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story, and then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.